Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. So we've warmed up using strikes to get into this yep. grapple zone. <coughs> Let's do a little bit more punch. Pummeling. Boom. And just boom. go back to uh, boom. Yeah. So what we did yes or not yesterday, the last time we worked together. So I'm here and I I'm here, so I've got this. See how I've, my elbow was in tight. Let's mm -hmm. see if I can get that on video. Uh, this is you don't ever want this loosey goosey because then you can just pop up my elbow and get kick my back. So this is a collar tie. And I might be using the collar tie to push you one way and you push back. And then I use that opening for the other. So remember, right, we were here and then just, we did this last time. Yep. So practice that a few times on me because I don't want you to forget it. Yeah. And you know, you're sweeping these legs. Or here, or here, or you know, however you, can, you, can, you can sweep from just like here? Yeah, because I still got that underhook and I'm pulling. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see that. So it's like a steering wheel. I'm steering this way, and however I do it from this side, I'm gonna do it loosey-goosey. Mm -hmm. Like this is the same as this, is the same as this. Huh. So it's, it doesn't matter how you steer, as long as you're steering. Yeah. This is great because it controls the hand, but I want you to just find that underhook. Okay. However you find it. We're gonna do it real slow, and at some point, I'm gonna let you get the underhook. Yeah. Then you, you want me to just uh, finish what we're doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm belly. There we go. Okay. Oh. Um, do that a few more times. Okay. I don't. Again, I I, I always want to recap with some of the stuff we did before, so you don't like that. forget it. Because I'm forgetting some of the stuff. There we go. Perfect. And you see the value of that, like if you were, uh, had anything on your waist, like a, like a duty belt, that's why I like those, those type of throws. Um, sorry. There we go. Uh, take it. Take it. Yep. Uh, the back here, yeah. Yeah. You're using your, your hamstring against my thigh. Hang no, we're here. Um, I'm either here or I'm here. Um, I'm going to step in oh, and I'm just going to grab the leg so we'll do it again from the from this side so we're here and for some reason I don't feel comfortable enough to go that right I will go straight in and I'm trying to cut the back of your thigh mm -hmm. and at the same time I'm just going to grab your knee and I can slide you down now from here I can go down like this, either knee on belly or knee on side, or I can go into side control, or whatever you want. All right. So we're swimming. And I get the, see, I even lost it, but that's yeah. fine. So here, and I want to get this on video. So yeah, I got the underhook, but if I stay here too long, yeah. you'll be able to flex it out. So to break this down, I'm coming in just like for this throw. Now, I, I think I have this throw regardless. But I'm just going to go straight in and pick the leg. And then I can swim around it. That way, I'm getting out of your, no. out of what I call the, the dead zone. Yeah, you could be kicking here. So I'm just taking this up, swimming it out of the way, going to knee on belly, or in this case, knee on your side. Okay. So find the same punch. Swim smooth, nice and relaxed. And it does, fine. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Okay, so let's go come in here. So it's, oh, uh, no it's okay. So you're here. And it's, you're on the outside. Let's say you step in and you step out of the way. Yeah, yes. see, this is a counter to that. You're stepping straight through. So it's the same way. Yeah. So I come in for the throw, you step out of the way, mm -hmm. or maybe you don't. Okay. 
maybe you're just strong and or I'm just it's just not working for me I turn the knee so it's facing that way because you have no way of blocking my energy mm -hmm. from this direction stepping through and see how I let you down yes, nicely yes, 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 you can yes. do that on the street or you can just let the guy flop I capture the leg knee on belly so I'm here I get yeah I'm sorry I was going to show you again so I'm here I get that underhook for some reason I don't feel comfortable enough mm -hmm. or maybe you just real strong big athletic and I can't yeah see how you sunk in mm -hmm. so you planted yourself turn that knee so now it's facing towards you almost like I'm gonna try to knee you in the groin I'm gonna step through and then like all I'm saying is you don't want to because your energy was gonna go this way now you have to change it Step through, I'm grabbing that leg, taking you down, and then passing the knee. Does that make sense? Yes. If I'm here and I'm going this way, but my leg's off this way a little bit, it's, I still get the bump. Yeah. I just want you to have as much advantage as possible. So that's why I'm doing that. But for example, what was I gonna say? I'm here, boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what matters. And I could even like, do something like that. But yep. I'm taking you in and I'm letting you down nice and easy because you're my friend. <laughs> oh, you make it so, so simple. It's easier to hit somebody with the ground than it is with a fist. <laughs> so once they hit the ground, that gives you all the world time to run away. So I got the overhook oh. instead and I can't get that throw, but I still have the takedown. I don't want to hit you, hit you into the wall. Okay. I still have this takedown because I'm controlling the arm. Now, see what I'm doing here? Okay. I got good posture, try to pull me down. Yeah, but if I'm bending over, yes. And so you always want to have that, that good That's posture. Yeah, that good, good solid back. And everything is crouching with the legs, not bending over. There's an exception to that, like if we were wrestling and I'm bending over like this, you know, yeah. because I got my head as a third point of contact. Mm -hmm. So I'm using it to drive. And then you've got the same type of rows. I could be in here. Sorry, you okay? Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But uh, I'm not a big fan of bending over if I can avoid it. Well, okay, so uh, on the arm? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll start. I just want you to feel like if you end up in an overhook, oh. don't like, damn it. <laughs> just stop and like, oh, I still have something here. Okay. on your back I'm taking you down I literally do the karate kid wax off and just get that out of the way and if you start springing it back towards me I shot it to defend against and I can push in here I've got the, the arm which I'm a big fan of doing if I can if you can't you can't so again the options I've got the traditional takedown, uh -huh. or for some reason you're heavy, or you, yeah. And I was like, oh, I, I'm not, I know I'm not gonna be able to throw him. Then I just enter that way. And you may not even need to grab the leg. I might be able to use the shoulder as a bump. In this case, that leg presented itself. I swiped it the other way. I see. Oh, low. And I do that hip bump. Then I would just do it super slow. Yeah, he's me. Yeah, yeah. Now you're just doing a standing double leg. So it's very similar. The technique we're doing is very standing double leg. Instead of coming here, I'm not giving up that because I don't, I don't want to get hurt. Yep. So I'm coming in here. Wow. Like I said, you can never you, you can never miss with the ground. If you take him down, it's like, well, I didn't hit him on the ground good enough. Don't worry about that. Uh, you can easily miss with punches and kicks. You can't miss with the ground. So I'm a big fan of takedowns, but ethical takedowns. This is still ACD or S control defend, not combat of, I didn't call it combat hapkido. Well, first of all, that name's already taken, but that's actually not what I wanted. When I originated the system or built the system, I wanted it not, I, I call it combatives because that's very different. I can, 
in Krav Maga, they call their strikes combatives. But uh, you, you go to the military, all the branches, they have combatives. So I still want that, that, that mindset, even though you're being ethical and you're not trying to destroy somebody, you still have to have that warrior mindset. So it's ACD combatives, aka ACD Hapkido, which is the actual system, um, but ethical. Let's roll! Hey, let's be careful out here.